So does your infant have a subluxation or nerve interference that is potentially, of course a subluxation is a misalignment reducing nerve flow back to the brain and out to the body. Do they have a subluxation perhaps even if they don't have symptoms? This fifth study is my all-time favorite study, and that is because I've always had a soft spot for children. I worked with children at summer camps in four different states. Um, I've actually trained a junior Olympian medalist in martial arts. I used to teach kids Taekwondo. And then, of course, uh, I have three kids of my own, as well as a lot of nieces and nephews that I um, absolutely adore. So. This fifth study, every parent and grandparent should know, and it comes out of the Journal of Manual Medicine and was published in June 1992. So this is a critical piece to understand as it relates to why infants and children need chiropractic evaluations and care if necessary. So this study evaluated more than 600 children, all less than two years of age. And in this research, they refer to as the vertebral subluxation as a kinematic imbalance due to suboccipital strain effectively a subluxation. A subluxation, of course, normally when aligned, the, uh, the spine has healthy uh, signals back to the brain and healthy signals from brain to body, full neural supply. Yet over time or due to the birth process with up to 108 or more pounds of pressure placed on a child's neck, that signal back to the body can become less and less with time and effectively dimming the neurological supply. So chiropractors, of course, check the spine little bit by little bit. We restore alignment and therefore we restore that supply of nerve impulse back. So in this study, they uh, looked for subluxations and the report talked about pat the pathogenic importance of asymmetric posture, so alignment of the spine in small children, and the fact that it is often played down. If recognized at all by the medical community, it's played down. You and your family and friends need to understand this. The author noted that subluxations have a wide range of clinical signs and in many cases can be dealt with effectively with manual therapy, chiropractic adjustment. The risk, risk factors for why these children had uh, subluxation is, were from intrauterine misalignment, and application of extraction aids in delivery, things like forceps, prolonged labor, and or multiple fetuses. Effectively, birth is the cause. We got a lot of people being born still, and that's actually how you came into this world but there are subluxations being noted from birth. And so this study is one that you definitely want to know about and have certainty with as proof why you are getting your kids checked by a chiropractor, a wellness chiropractor. If you ever had anyone ask you if or why kids need to be adjusted or why you adjust your own kids, please make this study available to them. And they can find this study at our website. Um, and let's look at the facts of this study. First off, these medical doctors agreed that the main symptoms of subluxation, um, that subluxation can lead to are torticollis, where the head's tilted and won't go back, uh, unilateral facet syndrome, C scoliosis, motor asymmetries, where they can't use both, uh, both sides of their body correctly, unilateral retarded maturation of hip joints, so the hip joint not growing uh, sufficiently, slowed motor development, uh, motor development issues are being diagnosed more and more, sleeping disorders, neck sensitivity, face swelling, fever of unknown origin, loss of appetite, feet deformities, pathological reflexes, range of motion diminished by 30% or more, and parent reporting that the baby does not eat or drink well. This, they concluded that on these babies, an A to P radiograph of the upper cervical spine demonstrates this. 
However, a radiographic evaluation is not necessary, as we know, to find malformations. And though it aids in determining the direction of the adjustment, we use spinal thermography and a very, very careful hands-on trained palpation of the spine. So there was no correlation between the extent of the asymmetry and the symptoms or success of the treatment. This means that even a small subluxation is clinically relevant, has some importance. It doesn't have to be a big subluxation tilted way off to one side. We're talking a small subluxation can dim that light. So uh, this treatment involved an impulse adjustment, just a small little shift. So selection, there were six huge findings in this study. Number one, selection of the direction of adjustment is the most plausible cause of the less encouraging results of some colleagues. This means that you have to do an in-depth experienced practiced exam, someone that is experienced in uh, treating children. You don't go to a clinic that just treats pain and personal injury and work comp and auto accidents to get a child adjusted. You have to have an experienced practitioner to evaluate. Number two, the risk of the treatment was minimal. No serious complications were encountered in any of these cases. Most children would cry for a moment but stop as soon as they were in their mother's arms, so a little bit of separation anxiety. In two cases out of roughly 600, uh, the children responded with a little discomfort but they had no negative effect of outcome in any case, any of these cases. So number three, it was noted that upper cervical spine, the upper cervical spine remains a weak spot in most children, which is why they should be re-examined. So the study even noted the importance of re-examination. Um, number four, subluxation is not confined to local complaints where say you have pain, it can be another place completely unrelated to pain or even mechanical symptoms and is not taken into account when these children show signs of restlessness and concentration difficulties. So did you hear that? Subluxation may not have symptoms and unfortunately for kids with issues such as restlessness and attention issues, the subluxation is typically not considered to be a cause. Every parent deserves to know this. And I want you to pass this on, and if you want, pass the video. If you want, pass the, uh, the research study that I cited. But pass it on to other people, because I believe every parent deserves to know this. Uh, number five, subluxation does not always lead to clinical symptoms. So the author noted that babies that contract a sternocleidomastoid uh, muscle, with a muscle that's tight, uh, should not be subject to operative measures to shorten. They actually go in and cut or lengthen the muscle because, but they should not do that because they will nearly always respond perfectly just to a simple adjustment of the upper cervical spine. It's incredible. Uh, number six, upper cervical delicate structures undergo considerable stress during delivery. And during delivery, a majority of newborns, most newborns I check have, sub, have subluxations, but a majority of newborns suffer from microtrauma of the brainstem tissues in the periventricular areas. So the cause effectively is what? Normal births. As much as uh, is, a vast majority of newborns suffer from this. So another interesting side note from the study was that the adjustment of the, this region led to a disappearance of problems that the parents had not reported because they did not see a connection with the spine. How many times do you notice this with your chiropractic care? Something you don't think related, clear up in the midst of chiropractic care. And these parents would regularly note that their child would eat or sleep much better since the treatment. So who needs to know about this? Everyone. You know, this is a great study that every parent should have access to. Many people may ask why children should be checked by a chiropractor. Why would someone with no symptoms go to a chiropractor? Or where did all my problems in my spine come from? And this study helps explain all of that and more. So this is a game changer for, for uh, parents. 
And if you were born, which that includes a lot of you, or uh, you need to be checked by a chiropractor to assure optimal spinal integrity and brain to body connection.